Alright guys, hello in this video, here is Vansur and welcome. Uh, today we shall do, you know, a reaction and analysis to this teaser trailer for Agent Pass 4, the Sultan's accent. So, let's see. In unreckoned number, they cross to the east to seize the holy city of Jerusalem. We call them the Franks. Okay, so the first thing which I would like to mention is that I really like, you know, the art in this in this trailer. I really like it. I think this art looks looks really awesome. So I'd like to point out that I'm really happy with this. Also, I really like that they are saying what is historically historically accurate because um i would like to mention this in europe and especially in the west um we call those europeans who came to the east you know during the first cruise during the first crusade as crusaders yeah we call them as crusaders because they went there and they created the crusader states you know they found the crusader states like the kingdom of jerusalem and many other you know those uh, kingdoms there however uh, the native peoples on the middle east they call them franks so i really like that you know game developers are here are here basically how can i say this uh, representing or saying what is historically accurate yeah because people of the middle east they call them franks they didn't call them crusaders okay at first we in europe and in the west we call them crusaders so i like this history this historical accuracy here in this trailer okay move on these pages tell the story of great leaders who fought for our land and our faith okay so here is another part which you know I will a little bit a little bit criticize because you see, yes, we are getting uh, new civil civilizations, or right, we are getting new civilizations. But here is the thing: um, I'm not really happy with their choices. Okay, I'm not really happy with this. Especially when it comes to the one of those two civilizations, I will show you. Okay, the first one are the Byzantines. Now, when it comes to the Byzantines, here I have no problem with this because uh, the Byzantines, it makes sense because you see, when it comes to the Byzantine, Byzantine Empire, especially, you know, how can I say this? Eastern Roman Empire, yeah, because we, we because because Byzantine Empire was Eastern Rome. Uh, it makes sense to have them in this DLC, yeah. It makes sense because it is about the Middle East and the Byzantines. It was Eastern Europe and the Middle East, so here it makes sense. Despite them being um, Christian, Orthodox, rather than Muslim. But, but still, it makes sense to have Byzantines here. However, um, I would really like to ask game developers why they are adding Japanese in this DLC, because it doesn't make any sense. You see, the name of this DLC is The Sultan's Accent. The Sultan's Accent, it basically means about Muslim rulers. And let's be honest, Japan was not Islamic faction. You see, Japan was never Islamic civilization, and Japan is not part of the Middle East. It is not part of of Western Asia. No way. So you see, here it actually goes my how can I say this negative criticism. Yes, towards this civilization, because, look, um, I have nothing against having Japanese in Asian Pass 4. 
but they should be added in different DLC. For example, they should be added in in a DLC about I know East Asia stuff. Because we already got uh, Chinese, we already got Mongols, and they, and they I don't know, they could make some DLC where they could add Japanese and the Koreans or Vietnamese, but no, they they decided to add Japanese here to the DLC, which doesn't make any sense. Okay, this doesn't make any sense to have ja to Japanese here because this is called the Sultan's accent. They, they should add, you know, the Byzantines together with some Islamic faction. For example, for for example, they should add, you know, Persians or the Moors. Why? Because um, the Persians are the inhabitants of the Middle East, and they are mostly Shia Muslims. Meanwhile, the Moors, as you know, they ruled for centuries in Spain. So you know, you got uh, this Muslim Moorish Spain, yeah, Al Andalus where we got Reconquista. So basically, they should, I don't know, add uh, Byzantines and Persians, but not the Byzantines and Japanese. It doesn't, make any, it doesn't make any sense. That's the problem which I got with this uh, DLC. Basically, they are adding civilization which doesn't belong here. Again, I, I'm saying this again. I have nothing against Japanese, okay? I have no problem with Japanese being a civilization in in Asian Pass 4 because we already got Japanese in Asian Pass 2 and also in Asian Pass 3, okay? So I got no problem with Japanese in Asian Pass 4, but they should be added in different DLC, not in this one. I know that many people will disagree with me, and many people will probably come here and give me dislikes and of course negative comments, probably even hate com hate comments i don't know but i think many of you people many of you guys you understand my point here that the japanese doesn't make sense here because they, they because they are not islamic civilization and they are not middle eastern you know western asian they are east asian just like chinese or koreans or i don't know mongolians or vietnamese you know those civilizations so yes, I am, you know, I am actually disappointed that they are adding Japanese instead of Persians. Because if they added the Byzantines and Persians, then I will have no problem with this. Because making Persians here would make sense, but not Japanese. Okay, here we got another thing. Um, they are a new campaign, which is a good thing. I'm really happy with this because it's always good to have some new different campaigns. They are adding, as we mentioned, two civil two civilizations, so the Byzantines and the Japanese. One of them doesn't make sense, as I mentioned before. Ten new maps. The, uh, this is good. Two new biomes. Okay. Now this thing. Four variant civilizations. What does it mean? I would really like to know what does it mean for variant civ civilizations. Who knows? Probably I need to check Reddit or something like that for more information. What does it mean? Okay then, so that's all. Alright, so DLC is available by November 14 this year. Okay. Now, what uh, people I know are saying here? Four variant sieves, what is it? Okay, here. We are also adding reimagined variants of for existing civilizations with existing new heroes, units, and strategies. The Abbasid dynasty, Chinese, French, and Holy Roman Empire will receive these new variant civilizations, and players will have new ways to play as seasoned favorite civilizations. Oh, okay. Oh, 
and I don't know, do we have some more information about this? Ah, uh, fuck off. Okay. So, if I understand this correctly, you know, these four variant civil civilizations here, doesn't mean that, I don't know, I can switch between the Abbasid dynasty and, I don't know, Ayubid Sultanate, you know, Ayubid Sultanate to where we got Saladin, or switch between the Abbasids and Mamluks, switch between French and, let's say, Kingdom of Jerusalem, you know, Kosovo States, or Holy Roman Empire and, I don't know, uh, Tut no, Teutonic Order, something like that, and then you got Chinese and what else? I don't know, do we have something more about this here? Let's see. Because I would, uh, you know, really like to know something more about this. About those variant civilizations. Let's check here. Okay, so this post was uh, created three months ago. Agent Pass 4 doesn't need unit skins, it needs faction variants. Here, here, examples, okay. The Welsh could be a basic faction variant of the English. They will have different unit visuals, but larger play and feel the same. The long movement will be called the Helvir, etc. Okay, so, right, so basically you can switch, as I mentioned, between England and Wales. Right. Yeah, it, it will be a little bit different. Different unit visuals, different models, but still basically being the same. Or here, you, or you got the French and the Burgundy. And here we got Dili Sultanate and Rajputs. Oh, I see. So these variant civilizations will be something like this. Okay. So basically, what I said here was basically, you know, correct. So, you know, the Abbasids being something like, you know, they. Uh, um, their variant will be, I don't know, Mamluks. For French, it will be, I don't know, like Burgundy or Kingdom of Jerusalem. For Holy Roman Empire, it will be Teutonic Order. But what for Chinese? Ah, you you see, there is another point which I would like, I would like to criticize. As, as we mentioned, they are adding Japanese and the Byzantines. Now, as I mentioned before, having Japanese doesn't make sense for this DLC. And they should rather add the Byzantines and the Persians. But, uh, and here is another point which I would like to criticize. Why they are adding civilization variation for Chinese? It's again, it is about, about uh, DLC the Sultan's accent. Why they are not adding variation I know for the Ottomans? Y you know, having a variation for them like um, Sajuk Turks. Because having Sajuk Turks will make sense. Way more sense than, let's say, having variation for the Chinese. Basically, this is the thing which I would like to really criticize about this DLC, okay? They are adding Byzantines, that's a good thing. They have variations for the Abbasids, for the French, and for the Holy Roman Empire, that's a good thing. But why, for fuck's sake, they are adding Japanese instead of Persians? And why they are making variations for the Chinese instead of variations for the Ottomans, like, I don't know, Sajuk Turks? Uh, you see... Um,
this is the thing which I will really like to point here. On one hand, I'm excited about a new DLC because we are getting new content. Yeah, new campaign, new maps, new factions. That's good. But on the other hand, I am a little bit uh, disappointed with their selection of civilizations. Yeah. I am disappointed with this selection because it doesn't make sense to have Japanese in this DLC. They should rather create some East Asian DLC and have Japanese there. They should rather add Persians with the Byzantines. And why they are, for fuck's sake, creating variations for the Chinese? Why not for the Ottomans like the Sajuk Turks? Like, really, I don't know what to think about this, okay? On one hand, I'm excited, but on the other, I am disappointed. I think you guys understand. I'm happy with everything, okay? I'm happy that we are getting new campaign, new maps. I'm happy that we are getting Byzantines, that's a good thing. Or even do some variations for different, different sieves, okay? I'm happy with all of this. I'm not just happy with, with their uh, choices. I'm not happy with, or with their civilization selections. If some of you will be asking, will I pre-order? Probably not, okay? I will probably wait for the full release. And then after the release, I will buy. But yeah, I expected, you know, Nothing different, yeah? But, you know, no Persians. No Seljuks. We are getting Japanese. And we are getting some variation for Chinese. Why? At least they are adding Byzantines, which is a good thing. Alright guys. We will see later in another video.